Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the new feature in 2020.2 called Metrics. In order to create a metric, you first need to have a workbook published to the Tableau server. So let's go ahead and publish one of the sample workbooks here in front of us. I'm gonna use Superstore. Uh, this is a sample workbook that comes in every installation of Tableau. So if you're following along, that's the version you need to use. Now, we're gonna use this particular view here to create all our metrics. We don't need anything else um, in order to create this. I'm already logged into my Tableau server. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish the workbook to the server. I already have a project called metrics where I'm publishing all this work to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and publish it up without changing any of the default settings. Once this is published, Tableau should open up a browser window showing me my published workbook. Now we have a published workbook, we can actually go ahead and create our first metric. Now I'm gonna show you this in the grid view by changing this option here to the left. And you can see I have several views that I can use to create my metric. I'm gonna to go to the overview because that's what we saw initially. And once this loads, you'll notice that the toolbar at the top has this new option here. If I just zoom into that, you'll see that the metrics option there is enabled. But when you initially click on that for the first time, you'll see here that you're prompted to select a mark on the visualization. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go here to furniture and I'm gonna select the profitable uh, orders in the furniture category in August of 2017. And when I do that, you'll notice that this metrics pane here on the right hand side changes to show me a preview of what the chart will look like. Now notice it's picked out two fundamental things. It's picked out the metric, which is the sales value, and it's also picked out the month order date because that's what we have along the bottom here in the axis. And you can see those here in the definition. This actually describes how the metric is built, the sum of sales and the month order date. Now I can change this metric. If I select profit, you'll see that this profit item name here changes. And you'll also see that this uh, line chart changes. If I change back to sales, you'll see those two change again. Now I'm also prompted to choose where to save this. You've got to remember that all content is saved in the project hierarchy in Tableau Server or Tableau Online. So I'm gonna leave this in the metrics folder because that's where I want all my metrics to go. I can also give it a description. I'll just give it a basic description now. And now my metric is ready to be created. When I hit create, I won't see anything happen here in the view because I'm essentially still using the view as, as some sort of analysis. I don't exactly see anything here, but let me open up a new tab and show you where that goes. If I go to the metrics folder where I save this to, you'll see the metric is created much like a workbook. So this metric is actually linked to this workbook. If I hover over it, you get some basic information about the metric. If I click onto it, you get this nice little chart that shows you that particular value over time. It uses everything that it found from the workbook and it even has the connected view in order to show this metric. Now, if I was to delete that connected view, that workbook in particular, then this metric would also stop functioning and this would also disappear. I can favorite my metrics if I want them to appear in my favorites. This is great for mobile devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And what I'm also going to do is maybe I want to share this metric. So if I go here and I share this metric, you'll see how this is annotated. You essentially get the same name that we gave it earlier on. I can choose who I share it with. So I can share it here with myself. And what I can do here is then I can just add a message. Um, and this will send an email to someone to go check out the email. Okay, now I just wanna highlight one more thing. We're gonna go ahead and create several metrics here. I'm gonna very quickly start creating them. So I'm gonna click on office supplies, click on metrics. I'm not gonna change any of the defaults. I'm just gonna hit create. And you can see it's a very, very fast process. I can just uh, pretty much click on a mark. Tableau picks up the information it needs to and it creates the metric. Now, every single time I've chosen something on the line chart, uh, and it's picked up the summer sales and then the axis here. But this time around, I'm gonna choose this value here in the UK. Now, when I click on that and then I go to metrics, you'll see that it picks the latitude and that's not what I'm interested in. So this is an example where you do need to check what it's creating and then change it to the appropriate metric. So aggregate profit ratio for the United Kingdom, that's all coming through correctly, 20.18%. Uh, save that to the metrics folder and click create. Now, if I go back 
to my metrics folder, you'll see that I now have four metrics available to me, all the line charts, everything, and when they were last refreshed. It's essentially refreshing that from the workbook. Now, this is a useful view, but if you have a list view, you get a slightly different view where you get this value here in blue highlighted for you. So you can very quickly see the things that matter to you in a very sort of simple way. Now, the last step is obviously the mobile devices. I'm going to show you what this looks like on an iPhone and an iPad. I'm going to switch over to those now. OK, so I'm now on the iPhone and the iPad, and I'm just going to swipe down to update all the views. So you can see that I now have metrics showing here. Now, when you go into a project on the mobile version of Tableau, you'll notice that it breaks it down by the different content type. So I have the project. There's no project inside of the, this particular project, so I have zero. Then I have metrics, workbooks, and views. Now, my views are coincidentally in my workbook, and my metrics are also linked to this one workbook. So this just gives you some sort of idea of how the hierarchy works. Now, if I go into the metrics section and I just look at my metrics, you can see the newly created metrics here. And there's some really powerful features that are available to us here. If I go into sales and technology and look at the profitable items there, you can see that I get this nice view that I can swipe across and swipe left to see changes over a given period. And it actually shows you the comparison point here, October versus September 2019. If I go to adjust and compare, I actually get a bit more control of how much data I'm seeing and what comparison I want to make. So if I change this date range to last 60 months, then go back, you'll see that this chart is now containing a much larger time range of data. The next thing I can do is obviously change the comparison. So at the moment, it's to the previous month. But let's say I change this to the previous year, click OK, and I go back. Now you can see that this line is comparing to the previous year. So I can more easily make comparisons to last year for this particular um, category and the profitability of that category. Now. The last option I have here is the ability to show the comparison line. So if I go back again, you can see that it's basically the same line. But because I chose a year comparison, it's exactly the same line, but a year off. And that allows me to see here that in this current month, I'm actually ahead of last year's numbers, which is a great sort of quick way of doing analysis. Bear in mind, I didn't need to create any chart in Tableau Desktop in order to do this. This is just a simple feature available to all users on Tableau Online and Tableau Server. Now, the last really powerful feature here, if I go back to the list of metrics, this number that I see here on the left-hand side is available to me in three formats. The absolute number, which is what you're seeing here. If I click on the number again, I get the difference, the absolute difference compared to the last year. And if I click on again, I get the percentage value. And so this is a really nice little feature that you have available to you here. You can really see how you can create metrics for particular teams or particular uh, parts of your business and just have a nice table of metrics here on your mobile device. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is make some of these metrics my favorites. And by making them a favorite, you'll see that it adds a tick here on the right hand side. So I've got three metrics here that I'm part of my favorites. And so if I go back to my favorites, you'll see here that I have the true metrics right at the top of my view when I log into Tableau Mobile. It's a really powerful and simple way to start giving more users quick ways of creating their own insights on the fly. <clears throat> if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe below. Otherwise, drop a comment and tell me what kind of content you'd like to see in the future.